dude, and I thought she was my friend. <laughs> now, I'm just saying that there's a lot of people, you know what I mean. And that was an interesting discussion that will never be repeated on tape for FBI reasons. They've already got it recorded, Jay. They'll know where to find me. You know, the thing is, is what if you was asking me about George Bush and why I hate him and stuff. What if all of a sudden I ended up as president of the United States and then I'd have these embarrassing films? Let's, let's, um, let's you think it could happen? We need to do something, Jay. All right, let's do it. I mean, we really need to do something. Like, okay, wait a minute. We're going to have a show here today. What kind, of, what kind of project can we have? Can we do a project? Click here to send this to a friend. Mm. We are down to the Warning. You like how I get all these things. Did you use the uh, update service pack 2 from Microsoft? Oh my god, that does horrible things to you. No, I did not. Well, how can we run when Microsoft screwed up? How can we run on the internet? Do we really got to have their pop-up blocker installed? Is there no choice if you're running XP and want to be secure? It is the lousiest piece of software I have ever seen. Did you install it? Yeah, well, I did on my laptop. Didn't on this one yet. It is screwed. Is Bush drunk again? Bush drinking again. Photo from G8 Summit. Suggests a recovering alcoholic president may have fallen off the wagon. We count the drinks in front of him. <laughs> you think he's drinking again? I think he's drinking again. Like when Wall Street or New York got plunged into the blackout I heard there was a reason we didn't hear from him for several hours is because the Secret Service was sobering him up just so he could appear in person oh yeah Mr. President you've been a governor and a president so you have a unique experience <coughs> from two directions what do you think tribal sovereignty means in the, in the 21st century, and how do we resolve conflicts between tribes and the federal and state governments? Yeah. Uh, tribal sovereignty means that. It's sovereign. It's, you, you're a, you're a, you've been given sovereignty. Does and he sound drunk there? Viewed as a sovereign entity. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm going drinking tonight. Were they laughing at him? No, but could, did you I hear wanna, what I want to hear it again. All right. They're talking about Indians and right. federal government. Mr. President, you've been a governor and a president, so you have a unique experience looking at it from two directions. Mm -hmm. What do you think tribal sovereignty means in the, in the 21st century, and how do we resolve conflicts between tribes and the federal and state governments? Yeah. Uh, tribal sovereignty means that. It's sovereign. It's, you're, you're a, you're a, you've been given sovereignty, and you're viewed as a sovereign entity. This is some laughs. And therefore, the relationship between the federal government and tribes is one between sovereign entities. <laughs> sovereign entities. <laughs> well, he is from Cal from uh, Texas. That's Cal Town. He's speaking. He, he, I can just see him look. look you know he, what he language like that this, is? He go like this. Uh. The dry drunk. The Indians situation. have sovereign nations. They're a sovereign nation. No, they got a name for that language he was speaking. It's called cowbonics. Cowboys speak. You know, it's like an ebonic kind of thing. Cowbonics. Where'd you get that one at, Jake? Well, on Big Brother Five, which we have to have a report here later. Oh, I hate, hate. <coughs> the cowboy on it, he keeps coming up with some cowbonics, so they've got a whole new cowbonic dictionary out. Good. How to speak cowboy. Now, was that a good one? That was a good one. 
We need to do have some type of project, Jay. Uh huh. What kind of project can we make? All right. Software project. It doesn't even have to be a software project. All right. How about, how about this one? And this is going to make us rich. And I'm only going to say it one time. Hardware virus protection. Software shit ain't working. You buy our thing, you put it in your USB, and you've got hardware virus protection. On put on one of them little chips. Hmm. Hmm. Which works better, hardware firewalls or software firewalls? Hardware firewall. And the reason why Microsoft so screwed up in their little pop-ups is because it's a software solution. That's where I say we write a new browser. Write a new browser, run it through a hardware. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter hardware. It could be a USB fucking virus protection, but it's hardware. No. It you, hits the net. It updates itself. Your firewall should be your virus protection, and it is. They're getting those in there already. Your last bastion. Mm-hmm. Well, that uh, update number two went in. And all of a sudden, my Norton antivirus ain't up to date, even though I updated it last night. They don't talk to each other correctly. I'm going to have, like, it telling me, hey, you're screwing up the whole time I'm on the computer from now on. I feel safer. Do you? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. If you were a terrorist, would you e-attack or would you uh, bomb things? What I do what? What are you going to do when you are a terrorist? You're going to be a terrorist, aren't you? After the election? You're not. No. I, 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 I thought that was what us Democrats did. Well, oh, you're not a violence for political means? Oh, yeah. No. Okay. <coughs> okay. This is the part that's going to be seen at my trial right here, so we better be real clear. You motherfuckers only got a few electric lines coming into town. Kofi, uh, you each only got one underground pipeline, and I have the maps. Y'all have above ground pipelines. Y'all have children in elementary, middle, and high school all gathered together for hostage purposes. Why do you think they gather them together for like that? It's to hold everybody in the world hostage against their children. That's called school. I forgot what I was saying, so this probably won't be showed at my trial. <laughs> For a minute, I was going to tell them, I'm going to blow them all up. I'm the bomber. But they caught the bomber, didn't they? So I'm not the bomber. Are you the bomber, Jim? No. I do look good in the hooded sweatshirt. Everybody likes wearing that. Kids will light the firecrackers. Boom, boom, boom. Did you ever blow shit up when you was younger? Sure. Did you make your own? Uh, yeah, sure. Dude, I'd unwrap firecrackers, and you know how much is in the middle of a firecracker? Not much. You'd unwrap, and you'd pile, and you'd unwrap until you'd go through a thing, and you'd get a little pile that high of silver powder. Not much. Nothing. Listen right. to this. Uh, we used to take uh, Coke, Pepsi cans. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Pepsi cans, pop cut, cans. Cut the tops and, and the, the bottoms. bottoms off. Exactly my thought tennis ball in there the and a little bit fluid. of lighter fluid the liquid lighter fluid that even kids yeah, could buy the last ball would be down the only come down to this far and then you put the lighter fluid down in the bottom here. can right and then light it on dude we had that to a science Boom. we'd also we got so brave that we'd put them on our shoulder and then have the flame pointing out like that you couldn't have the flame pointing at your head I think we learned that one the hard way because the shit would flame out the bottom hole. You put a hole in the bottom, you have to to get some kind of lighter. Mm -hmm. Light a match up to it, because you know there wasn't no big lighters back then either. And it was back when cans actually had a rim on the top and rim on the bottom. 
we'd go up one further. We took a can opener, the punch church key ones, mm -hmm. and the bottom can, we just kind of crowned it around so right. it'd have them little prongs so the ball couldn't roll into the last chamber. Pour that in, shake it a little bit, Bam! That thing would go 100 feet in the air, man. Yeah. We used to then, we started lighting the ball. Putting the lighter fluid on the ball. And then you light the ball and bam! It'd go running, rolling, flaming, right? And then did you have wars with them? No. Uh, man. We did bottle rockets with those. A little more sophisticated. I was always getting my own formula for uh, gunpowder. Looked it up. <clears throat> They'd always you, ask, you "What do you need saltpeter for?" To suppress my sexual uh, nature. <laughs> can you can make a bomb of saltpeter, Jay? Yeah, the actual uh, saltpeter, potassium nitrate, so, uh, sulfur. Okay, so we're not going to do that. And charcoal. That's gunpowder. Hey. In proportions of eighty, twelve, and eight. Let's put a wireless camera on one of those uh, pop can balls. Hey, it'll be rolling, man. You can't inside the pop, and it'll be spinning or flaming in there. What's just that? Well, what are we gonna do on software now that we got .dot net? Let's put a wireless camera on one of the balls. Balls <laughs> and shoot it in the air. I think we ought to take it on stupid human tricks and show everybody. Or else at they least dedicate a web people know how to do it. it let's dedicate a web page to it. Let's put a camera in one of them balls, Jay. Have it explode a parachute. Man, I've seen this guy did a tricked out case in the new site. And it had like green pads and he had like he took uh, the shower nozzle heads and took the uh, shower the metal in between and had all his cords running through these, that kind of twirly metal, you know what I mean? Real nice copper tubes. He painted everything silver to make it like it was chromed. The fan, the black part on the fan, the gold little gate on the power supply. Tricked it out. Huh? Tricked it out, all chromed and shit inside and then loose eye. Dude, it looked bad. Mm hmm What's the fucking point, man? It's all... It's all about tricking out the rich dudes, man. Puff Daddy's computer. <laughs> Good like we'll put some diamonds on it. Diamond stud the fucker. No. It'd be bling bling. You know, bling bling and those spinning hub wheels are so yesterday There's no they're already out. Right. There's no bling bling about a computer. <laughs> so, last night, I know you didn't see the player, did you? You didn't. They had a twist at the end. They asked the player, do you want the girl and give up your player lifestyle? Or do you want, uh, you know, you get the choice. And you so what do you think? the broken computers here. I can't believe that you <laughs> They're all working. Supply. That one's working. Well, wrong power supplies. What can I say? Now where's the bling bling? There's a composite. Uh, channel 8. Oh, that was good. Channel 10. There it is. So you want to build us to build a hardware fire or an uh, antivirus? Yeah. Anti-pop-up. Anti-pop-up, antivirus, anti-malware. <laughs> so you got to see this car they give him. The hubcaps are already out of style for a real player. Crazy dog. Oh, I don't deserve you. You should have picked the white dude. He's I am that player. This is his voice here. Hello, AC. Yep. This is the player operator. Congratulations. Don has chosen you as our ultimate player. You must be very proud of yourself. See who the play operator is. You that title, the game is not over. Boss.
lost in Raw from now, Survivor. Given the power to decide the outcome of this game. Like he's a player. But now it's your turn to make the most difficult decision of the game. It's time to decide which is more important to you, Dawn or the player lifestyle. Fuck, man. Feelings have undoubtedly come into play. He could have had Dom and her two friends in bed. Or he could have a car. And are you willing to give up your player ways to take a chance on a future together? Or have you been playing my girl Dawn and leading her on just to win this competition? AC, I'll give you only a minute to make up your mind. Meet Dawn in front of the crib and tell her how you feel about her. The player. The decision will determine the outcome of this game. I'm out. This is this is not an awkward situation for me at all because uh, I came here to set goals and I came here to conquer certain things and I have I mean I get to know you for sure that that you know for sure that you are unbelievable. This is how I play at times. But if I tell you something different, then I would be lying. So the decision that I'm going to make is to keep my my lifestyle the way it is right now. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you know, I'm take hard fitness for it. You know what I'm saying? No. And if after we're all done, they want to slip a little something, something. AC's a player. I'm a player. Game recognizes game. And if he had made any other decision but the one he chose... Snap, made, snap, I'm snap! Really she is so fucking played. Who do you think won that then? Someone? <laughs> Look at this new car. <laughs> Hello, Don. Hello, AC. I'm the player operator. Let's cut to the chase. This Cadillac Escalade is a grand prize. And blinged out, it's the truest representation of the player lifestyle there is. To turn down a woman like Don takes some real player skills. Here's your Cadillac Eldorado Escalade. Here's your key. What? Are you yours. What? I get the shot! Oh, dude! <laughs> what happened to the player? I got the car! Oh, you're nice, but damn, dude, I got the car! Oh, shit. True players understand true players' game. Game recognized game. You know what I mean? It's, it's no more. You got played, ho. Game recognized game. <laughs> you got played. Player. Ah, I got me a car. Here, watch this though. Player. He might be dumb, but he ain't stupid. He might think he's getting here, here, wheels off here. He hits the brakes. I mean, it would really be player if you still come roll with me. <laughs> <laughs> I want the car and the girl. Come on, girl. Now, what would she have gotten if they, he'd have taken a girl? That's the player. That's the stupidest fucking show I've ever seen, Jay. That was the end. I saved you fucking weeks and weeks of them cutting. They called them necks because anybody that was a pain in their neck, they'd go, he's a neck. <laughs> they made up their own hip language. They were so cool. What time is it? Uh, time to watch this one. 12.37. I think it's plain and simple. See this? Bush didn't think that he had to go by the rules that others did. And he had this campaign to take care of, and that's what he was going to do, and that's what he did do. A few personal thoughts on this story we've reported tonight. We shall continue to aggressively investigate the story of President Bush's service in the National Guard and the story of the documents and memos in Colonel Killian's They're fake, Jay. Are those documents she just got done saying that's exactly CBS what he told me to type. <laughs> or were they forgery? Hey, or she thinks those are forgeries. And, and they, who, who could have forged them? We will keep an open mind. Is it a Carl Rovian type thing? Evidence and responsible points of view as we try to answer the questions raised about the authenticity of the documents. Having now the question remains, feel it's important to underscore is Satan George Bush or is it Carl Rowe? Aspects of our story Movie opening this week, Bush Brain. The major thrust of our Bush's story. brain is Carl Rowe. George Bush received let's, uh, treatment to get into the National Guard man. and once accepted, All right. failed to satisfy the requirements of his service. 
If we uncover I'm not into taking over the schools, but blowing up all the pipelines and uh, get electric lines coming into any big town, I'm all for that. So, 60 Minutes, you heard about that controversy, right? They want fucking CBS off the air now. I ain't shitting you. They're, the echo chamber's howling at them. Drink a coffee and another cigarette for Dan Rather. You like Dan Rather? Yeah. And the funniest thing I'd ever seen is somebody changed his name to D. Dan. Ra. And then the TH is super text. And then er. So I think you ought to change his name to suit, have that little super text in the TH. Why? Because that's the controversy. It could, change, it could be like a signature thing. I see. So it's bullshit, man. What'd you do during Vietnam? Stubbed your tail on the teeter totter. Probably. What did I do during Vietnam? I was a Boy Scout. I was a, you know what Boy Scouts are. That's how they train the boys to go into the military. The fucking commies that said that we were using those as paramilitary organizations were not wrong. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm not in the military. <laughs> well, the Boy Scouts, they teach you to march. They teach you to go a close order drill. I did that in band camp. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So First it's band, and then it's right to the military. You go from trombone to M16. I'm serious. How many wars do you think they'd fight if we had an age limit, 50 and older? You think they'd negotiate? Nobody under 50. Just the old fucks. That's how we get rid of the excess population. We send the old people to war. <laughs> no, honestly, if Bush, Rumsfeld, all them crowd, Cheney, if they had to actually fight the war, do you think we'd be at war? Or do you think they'd find a way to make peace? I'm 50, almost, and I'm ready to go. I, hell, you know, one big more war game at that age, get turned into a kid again, maybe get killed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Excitement. Exactly. <laughs> There's going to be death, mayhem. Count me in. <laughs> more real Halo video. I wonder what that was. <laughs> Oh, Halo. Let's let's do something. All right, video. Let's make a video. Oh, this guy's back. He puts on a little drum and exhibition here.
tracers, dude. <laughs> Best drum solo ever, huh? Yeah, I'd say it is, man. A little bit of drum line for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely leader of the Phantom Regiment or something, man. So you just talking about band. Fucking normal drummer. You need somebody that has that and can stand up and play it. Well, yeah, I mean. We're not being bad instead. No cymbals. Fuck the cymbals. No bass. Or else hire somebody else just to do a bass drum. The kick. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. Lot Can better. you imagine hearing that with the drum? The uh, giant drum. The whole drum section. Mm -hmm. Four of those bass drums running it. Oh, yeah. All oh, drum sections are good. They had that movie. Shit. You know? Mm -hmm. When you get about ten guys that are as good as him or almost. They cut heads. They have drum offs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. So what's it gonna take to beat Bush? That drummer? You can't beat a time traveler. I keep telling you, man. Anybody that can lock all their documents forever, so that you can never see them top secret. The only thing I can see isn't it against the law to classify something top secret to hide a crime? Top secret. <laughs> you never know. But it is a crime. It's top secret. See you, Jay. Hey. It's been an interesting day. I'll get that Gmail so I can get that. Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll send that to you. You okay it? And uh, I'll send it to you at work. That's an absolute. Okay. It? It's the best. Can that be ripped down to the BCD? No, moves. MOVs. They're hard to get into any other format. I think there is something that'll do it. I'll have to look it up online to find out. Catch ya. All right, we have fish. We have camera two. Maybe there's something on camera two. Nakomis got kicked out Tuesday. She's sitting at house calls and just had a great interview. On channel two, it looks like they're both in bed. Mm. They're letting them sleep. There's three of them. I don't see cowboy. Um, okay, okay. Seen it, done it, seen it, done it. Got homework. For target that this is the first time she's gone after an incumbent president of the United States. In her new book about the Bush dynasty, uh -huh. the book's most publicized nugget is the allegation that George W. Bush many years ago sniffed cocaine. Kelly claims two sources. One cited source, former Bush sister-in-law Sharon Bush, Denied calls it. this a falsehood. The other source is unnamed, like most of Kelly Kelly's, Kelly Kelly's sources in all her books. The publisher Barbara says it stands behind the book, rather than be honest, and dispose of this trash. Uh, let me be honest. I don't care. I don't care about George Bush's private life. I'm not getting engaged. I'm not a Republican. I don't... Begala, it's time to start caring. You're on a show with the Prince of Darkness, and you ought to know. Uh-huh. Okay, Big Brother Report. House in Paradise. I'm living with Will, the twins, and it's been hell in paradise, basically. The twins and I, we don't get along at all. Natalie, I just want to spit on and want to see it. Anywhere with the twins, for me, is the absolute antithesis of paradise. Marvin and I, uh, we completely kept secluded. So who do you, who do you guys think it's going to be? Well, I hope it's Diane. If it is, I can stab her in the eye with a chicken bone, and I will be happy. I guess Diane is not getting Marvin's vote. The bottom of the stairs today, waiting on a new evictee. We were missing Natalie. Natalie has been down with a bug. Natalie got sent out. Their back door, I can go out. I think they were expecting somebody else, and they were like, oh, Marvin. This is a 
Marvin told a shot to me. I look yeah, at Marvin. Deal with a wink. I'm like, okay, I'll do this just to be civil and stuff. But uh, don't try to be all fake. You don't like my damn ass. Two backstabbers, cheaters, and deceivers. And then the rest of the house is still there. And she's to save you. Karen, I'm gonna have to park you up onto the game block. Sweet. Back and forth for them cables. Tennis and 27 left in the game. Cowboy wins HOH. He gets to choose. He sends his sister home. Okay. Three of them left Diane, Cowboy, Drew. They had contest number one. Uh, Drew won. Everybody got shook off in less than 45 minutes. I'm trying to watch the show and They're all shook off their perch already. I can't take pictures and watch TV I gotta try to do one or the other House guest still sleeping So Second contest, don't know what happened, don't know, but I do know who won. Cowboy won, so it's going to be Cowboy versus Drew for HOH. HOH gets to choose the person that goes with them. So, Drew and Cowboy, I'm going to handicap it towards Drew can beat Cowboy at any given day on any given thing. Cowboy's playing dumb. He's a lot smarter than he looks. If it's something intellectual, there's a half a chance he might luck out. But if Drew wins, who's he going to want next to him? We just seen the people in the house two twins Will, Marvin, Karen. Five of them down. Now you got. Um, McComas and Jennifer in the mix. Jennifer. Two twins or six, and there's going to be one more on the jury. One of them in the house. Let's say Diane goes. Twins love Cowboy, but they also love Drew. That's going to be a tough one. I'm going to go Drew wins with the twins vote. Could be Diane versus Drew. Drew wins. Pretty much everybody hates Diane. It's a sure thing if he takes her. So now, Cowboy, Cowboy and Diane, the only other possibility. Cowboys got the twins over Diane. Um, Marvin's on Cowboy's side. Will hates Diane wanting to get her out, I think. He knows. So Karen wouldn't vote for her. And Nakomas probably would vote for Diane over Cowboy just to screw him. So, what did that total? Cowboy wins. And Diane and Cowboy. So, Cowboy can't win with Drew can win with Diane. Diane can't win. Drew can win either way. No. Yes. Drew can win either way. Now, I bet you Drew would vote for Diane over Cowboy. And that's Big Brother for today. That's where we're standing. Last night we had some interesting pictures. Diane was trying to puke in the bathroom. I don't know how 
have a picture of Diane spelling out her message, but somebody says, look at Jay's. And sure enough, I got double hits on that one. Drinking, playing basketball. They rigged up a box to a tackle kicking dummy. A little one-on-one. -on -one. But they spell he spelled macaroni Diane, I think you're hot, big brother. Because he couldn't sign it his name. 1400 views. I just love that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So, Diana go to the bathroom to puke, and she couldn't puke. She'd come back to bed, and Cowboy would jump into bed. and say there was uh, Drew was laying next to them and talking to her until she leaned over just to give him a big old kiss and screamed because it was cowboy instead of Drew and they did it to her twice and the second time she's going e his body even feels like yours I'm going damn great pictures of all three of them in bed so I was up till 4.30 doing that. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this one is. saving that for our future well I better get Mark's email and I think that's a show does you know One more smoke ring.